Good morning. I am Eckehardt. I call myself the German Butcher. Today I want to make Schinkenwürstchen. Ham sausage, I would call that in English. I want to get it more precise. I have a movie about that out already with the spices on, but I want to do it one more where I explain it a little bit better. I want to make only a small amount so I can explain it better. I have here about five pounds of pork meat. It's about 60-40, I would call it, or so. And spices, I want to show you. I have it already pre-weighed, but I want to show you one more time what it is. This is ground fennel. It's can see it better this way. One gram per pound. I talk pound today because I always mix it up. One pound, one pound is 500 gram. Black pepper, two gram per pound. Ground fennel. Can I see it with the light? Uh, one gram per pound. Mustard seed, whole mustard seed, five gram per pound. Salt is a, if you look at it, you probably cannot see it, it's a little pinkish looking. This is pre mixed salt with a cure one in it, and I use 10 gram per pound. And one gram per pound accent. I mix it all together and then I put it to the meat grinder. I wanted to mention something yet, since uh, the uh, spice is only uh, 5 gram or so, they're hard to weigh with a regular scale, so I use my powder scale. That works very good, but only small amounts, otherwise it doesn't work. Now I want to mix my spices a little bit and just put it in. to my meat. Now the, all I have to do here is my mustard seed. Some people like to put it in after it, before, after you grind it. I always put it in before I grind it. Except if I use a two millimeter blade, then I will not use it. And mix it very good, and then it goes to the meat grinder. I got my old, my small meat grinder out. This thing is almost 50 years old. But it still works. I have a 5 millimeter in there. If you wanted to, you can grind it twice. You take first the 30 mill 13 millimeter and then this to it. But I don't do that. We never did. Even so, I should say this. Sometimes I did it too. Then you don't have to mix it so much. Once the meat is done, I take a handful and put it one more time to it. Then I have not so many big pieces in there, I can't use it all. Now if you dust the stuff out of the machine, we have a few big pieces in, I take them out. If you want to get rid of, more of it, then you have to put more to it. But you may still have some bigger pieces in. So I might as well just do it this way. Then comes the question, what to do with the little pieces? I just put it on a cutting board and cut it a little bit. Like see here, then it goes back in the meat. Don't have to throw it away. Now I want to show you how I mix it. It's not like a, a summer sausage or hot dogs or anything in that direction. This is a metwurst. You don't squeeze it and rub it like it don't have to be a texture like a hot, like a, a summer sausage. I put it in the bowl and rub it, push it down like this. The main thing is to get the fat and the lean meat mixed together very good. 
and as you see that it looks very good already. So little there's not much you can do. Now when you watch on Facebook there are so many times they talk about you gotta keep the meat cold, you gotta keep the meat cold. Number one depends what it is and how much you make. If you make only five pounds, you don't worry about it, it gets warm or cold. Even so, uh, like the chicken version, what I do now, or any metwurst, or if I would make hard salami, you don't want to put it back in the fridge because from after it is in the casing, it got to get warm. I hang it up on the ceiling so it can ferment. But you will see that later on. Now you wonder how it tastes. I do that so many times, I don't really have to taste it, but I like it anyhow. The fermenting flavor is missing, but it tastes very good already.